So hello and welcome to Pentamath. Today I have a Christmas special for 2021. So in this video we will be using uh, Desmo's graphing calculator to graph a Christmas tree. So just before we get started, if you want to follow along with this, then you can just simply go to desmos.com slash calculator to follow along. Right, now let's go. So first we need to plot the points of our Christmas tree. So the first thing I'm going to do is just going to zoom out a little bit uh, so that we can make the Christmas tree uh, just slightly bigger. So the triangles in our Christmas tree uh, will just simply be isosceles triangles stacked up on each other. So let's start with the bottom triangle, so the base triangle. I'm going to make, so just going to outline the vertices of the triangle before actually graphing the triangle itself. So first of all, what we have our points is we're going to have one here at negative 12 zero and have one here at 12 zero and then we're gonna have one here at zero 12 so I'm just going to plot those points just like that 12 zero 12 zero and zero 12 now you can see those three points highlighted right there now how I'm going to make this triangle uh, I am simply just going to do like an inequality so that uh, it's going to be so below this line here and also below this line here but above this line here so I can just do that so we're gonna have to make the lines first so this line here it's obviously just y equals zero that's pretty simple and then so here we're gonna have a slope of one and then we're going to move it up by 12 like that so that we connect those two points and then we can do the same thing here except here we've got a negative slope and we still add 12. so now we've got those three lines uh, we can now just simply build our inequality so first we start with one of these inequalities so y is going to be less than x plus 12. So now you can see we've got this here. And to add more inequalities we just use curly brackets. Then we have also have y is less than negative x plus 12 like that. And finally y is more than zero. I'm just going to write it like that. Now we have our triangle. Uh, we can just delete everything else we have because we're done with the triangle. And you might notice that we actually have this kind of like annoying thing. We've just got this here, so we're going to change that. We're just going to make one of these zeros. So I'm just going to make that zero, and then that line disappears. And I'm also going to make the fill a little bit darker, so we make 0 0.7. Okay, so now for the second triangle. Well, I'm just going to uh, just like move it up a little bit so that we get a little more space. And I'm just going to change the color to green because Christmas trees are green. So the track right now we have here it has a base length 24. Uh, for this next triangle, we'll make the base length uh, slightly shorter. So the base length is just going to be 18. So now let's get started. Let's plot the points. So for this triangle, we're also going to be moving it. Uh, just six units up from the bottom so that uh, we just have it stacked up. So for a size of 18, we're going to have uh, negative 9 on the one side and negative 9 on, and 9 on the other side. So negative 9 here. And then for the y corner, since we're moving it up uh, six spaces, we're going to have 9, negative 9, 6. And then again, we have 9, 6. And then to make it a uh, Right, uh, isosceles triangle, our final point is going to be 0, 15. Like that. 
and then again we just need to draw the lines for these so the first one is just y is 6 then we also have uh, x plus y x uh, plus 15 then we also have negative x plus 15 it's just the same for all of them and then again we just need to put these in equality down so y is less than x plus 15 that's our first one then we also have y is less than negative x plus 15 and then we also have y is, uh, so 6 is less than y and we've got our second triangle there and then again now we can just get rid of everything else now that we have our triangle and then we'll get rid of that and then change the stuff so um, we'll make that zero so we get rid of that then we'll make it green and we'll make it feel slightly darker now you notice here that there's a bit of overlap here and it's a slightly dark color which is not what we really want so here what I'm just gonna do is just get this triangle here and I'm actually just gonna cut it off right there so that you so that this part doesn't overlap so I'm gonna also make it so that y has to be less than six like that and there you go now for the final triangle of our Christmas tree this time we're going to shrink the base of the triangle down to just uh, 12 units and we're also going to move another six units up so let's go so for a base of 12 units we're going to have a uh, negative six and six and then the, we're moving it up another six units so that'll be 12 right there then we have six 12 on the other side and then to make it right isosceles triangle and we have uh, 0 18 and now we just again we need to make the lines uh, so first line again it's obvious it's just y is more than 12 no, 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 no we're just doing lines now so just y equals 12 then then x plus 18 then negative x plus 18 to get those three lines and then we build the inequalities again so y is less than x plus 18 and then y is also less than negative x plus 18 and then finally we have uh, 12 is less than y that small triangle there now we get rid of everything and then we change the style so that's going to be zero green and fill with 0 0.7 and again there is some overlap so we'll fix that up by just moving that to must be less than 12. there we go now we're almost done what's our christmas tree missing well yes it's missing a trunk so all we need to do now is to add a trunk it's just going to be a small square so uh, this time i'm not going to plot the points i'm just going to go straight into the line so it's going to be x equals negative 2 so we're just going to make a 4 by 4 square here x equals negative 2 and x equals 2 like that so that's the boundaries there and then we also have uh, y is 0 and y is negative 4 Okay, and then we just need to get that region over there. Now we just need to build the inequality. So y is less than negative four. So y is more than negative four, but y is also less than zero. And then x is between negative two and two, like that. Now we can get rid of the lines. Okay. Now here again, we're just gonna. Uh, this a little bit so we'll get rid of that dashed line at the bottom and we'll make the full 0 0.7 and see I think no yeah reds are slightly better for the trunk I reckon so now you might be thinking that we are missing a star 
However, I am not actually going to be doing a star in this video because uh, for, re for some reasons. One, it's a bit too complicated and two, uh, there is no suitable star color here. The closest is orange, which is nothing like star, so I'm just, you know, there's no yellow. So I'm just not going to do the star. Yeah, if you want to, then you can add a, try and add a star yourself. Yeah, but I'm not going to do it. So that's it for this video, thank you for watching. If you aren't bothered to make this graph and type everything in by yourself, then I'm just going to save this here as Christmas tree. Good. There, and now here you can see a link up there, so you can just simply type that in, or I'll link to this in the description, so that you can just access the this uh, just by yourself, and then you can just mess around with it and stuff you know you can try making like different sizes you can make like you could just kind of like adjust my christmas tree if you wanted to and otherwise i think i'll just see you in the next video